I guess JC, since you got the good, you got the better letters, JC. <laughs> uh, go ahead, JC. What's going on? So, what is the right version of God? Like uh, the I've heard Oof. about Shem Tov claim that he's he moves every leaf on the ground. Other people Amen. think that he's not that involved mm. in the planet. I don't know. There's so much freedom in the Torah regarding belief, and I think that's really. <laughs> That where the statement Elu Velu Divalikim Chaim comes to play, that even these and that are the words of the living God. And that all these things could help, they could also possibly hurt, but we're not going to exclude people because they happen to have different opinions. Who's right? Who knows? From an authoritative perspective, only the Torah could speak on metaphysical issues. From an authoritative perspective, that means from a rabbinical perspective, if you don't like what your rabbi has to say in this shul, go to another shul. Become Chabad, become Breslov, become Bubba or Bells, okay? There's diversity in thought because the Torah doesn't require so much belief. But so the Rambam says there's 13 things that a Jew must believe. Rav Yosef Abo and Sefer Harikaram, he says there's three things that a Jew must believe. And the Radbaz says that there's nothing that a Jew must believe outside of there being a God and that you have to keep his commandments. But a simple fact that there's so many different opinions on what a Jew must believe means that no one really knows outside of what the Torah makes clear what a Jew must believe. I have problems with the opinions of the Baal Shem Tov saying that God controls everything. The Rambam writes in his parish of Mishnayot, in that portion in the Mishnah, where it says that everything is under heaven but the fear of heaven, he says that, that God controlling things doesn't apply to someone doing tshuva, to basically the decisions you're going to make in your life to do the right decision or fall back on the bad decision. But that only applies to what's called kohota teva, the forces of nature, that God controls nature, but he doesn't know what we're going to do before we're going to do it. You know, so, of course, the Raman, this is just his opinion. But I think being that free will is understood to be a tenet of our religion, that that would have to be the, the way it is, because this notion that God knows what you're going to do before you're going to do it, and then at the same time, he's going to punish you for it. I've always had a problem with that. There's even a rabbi, you guys can look him up, his name is Gersonides, who was of the opinion that God didn't know the future. That makes a lot more sense to me. I hope that All right, Nasael, this is your chance. Uh, speak now, now or forever. 